When I'm in the pub meeting new people, as a physicist, I often get asked about the Big Bang, the massive explosion at the beginning of the universe that set it off expanding. They want to know where it happened, where the centre of the universe is, and it's quite hard to explain, so I say, let's play some pool. Right, so here's our pool table, and let's say that its two-dimensional surface represents the three dimensions of empty space. Don't worry about the edges or the holes, they're not important. Just imagine the table goes on to infinity. So that sets the scene, now let's play a game. We've got our balls tightly packed together, just like matter was in the early universe. All we need now is a big bang. As you can see, when I break the balls, they fly apart across the table. In other words, matter starts off highly concentrated and expands by travelling through empty space. That's the model of the Big Bang that you have in your head. The question is, does it match up with the data? Well, when we look up into the night sky, we see hundreds of billions of galaxies, and they're all travelling away from us. In fact, the further away they are, the faster they're receding. And this is the same in every single direction. If we go back to our model and imagine sitting on one of these balls during our Big Bang, looking at all the other balls around us, do we see the same thing? The answer is no, you just don't get that isotropy, that independence of direction that we see in real life. And that's because from our view on the ball, there clearly is a preferred direction radially outwards. So our model of the Big Bang is just clearly wrong and we need to think about it in a different way.